So in this video, we're going to create a user authentication system which contains the, um, the login, the sign up, and the um, dashboard. All right. In Laravel, you can do it with just one command. Before I do the command, or I run the command, I want to show you where I found it. So if you go to Laravel website, click on documentation, and you scroll down all the way to security, click on authentication. Uh, read, uh, read read the whole stuff you understand just read through to help you understand in case you're using Laravel for the first time but if you're not using it for the first time this is the command we're looking at or looking for PHP artisan make auth uh, there's a colon here so we can run it will open our command prompt and uh, right click because we copied it so it's pasted twice I don't know why it pasted twice so PHP artisan make colon auth I'll hit enter um, it has created a number of files for us I should have shown you uh, the files it's created it's created the files here in controllers auth all the files in this folder as you can see it involves forgot password login register reset and in case you're using Laravel for the first time I understand that this folder structure might be a little confusing at the beginning but it doesn't matter uh, at the end of the day you will understand it Another group of files it's created is in the resources. If you click on resource, click on view, uh, you'll see this auth. This auth contains login page, register page, and uh, forgot password page. All right. So now it has that. Um, we can go check it out. Come to this page, your Laravel page, local host colon 8000. Refresh it. We should see a link here. Keep your eye here. Now we have two links up here, and they are just about login and register. If you click on the login, um, it's opening. You will see that there is a login page, well-designed login page. This design uh, is following Bootstrap, all right? If we click on register, we will see the same thing. See, nice registration page with default options. But the issue is that these things are just um html and css there's no connection to the database yet all right so that's why none of these will work now we need to connect a laravel to the database which is simple uh we're just going to go and create a database and it's simple uh, as long as your warm server is running mine is running we can just come here a new tab type localhost slash php my admin once you type that localhost slash php my admin, it will open your php my admin. Then you can go ahead and um, log in. So if you installed your php my admin the moment I created this video, that means your login should be empty, your password should be empty while your username is root. But um, if you've been using php my admin, maybe you might you may have changed your password over time. All right, so you click login. I'm logged in, and these are databases I've created in the past. So if you click on here, we can create a new database. And what are we going to call it? I think we should call it QR code. QR code. All right, and then click create. Uh, it has created. So this is all we need to do here. Then we need to get right back into our Laravel app. Click on env, just scroll down, click on the env file. This is it. Now here we're going to specify the details of the database we just created. The database name is, we just created, we'll call it QR code. And then the username to log into our PHP MyAdmin is root. And uh, in my own case, there is no password. So mine is just like this. I'll click save, control S to save this file. I'm saving it because I just modified it, all right? now this, this is done we're good uh, another thing you can change is the name of the app is it's called laravel by default for me i could call it um qr code admin qr code admin or whatever but i don't need to change. i don't want to change mine i like to leave it at laravel but it could change us all right all right good we're good now now the next thing we have to do um just checking the time i think i should stop this video here because in the next video we need to create the migration oh let's just go ahead and do it here so we actually need to create the migration as you can see we've created this database and there is nothing inside there's no no tables found it's empty now we need to create a migration for this uh, php artisan that we did if you come here 
And what is a migration actually? Migration is just a file where you write your database queries so that once you run a command in Laravel from the command prompt, it will Laravel will read those database queries you wrote in a file and go and execute it in your database. So, but there is a syntax to it, it's not the normal SQL. So if you go to database, go to migrations, you will see that when we ran PHP artisan uh, uh, make auth that created all these login pages, it created these two migration files. Like I told you, they're just basically SQL queries, but they're not written directly as SQL queries. Look at this one, for instance. This one, what does it do? It just creates a new user table, you see? And then the user table have ID, name, email, password. That's just what this one does. Now we're gonna go in depth into it in the further video so that we can create more, all right? So the next one is the create password, password reset table. So it just has two tables. So let's run the migration. We're just gonna do a PHP artisan migrate, hit enter. And uh, we have an error, okay? So this is the this is a usual error in Laravel. Uh, if you have this error, I'll show you in the next video how to resolve it. But thank you very much. See you in the next video.